The Block Site Extension is a browser add-on which allows you to easily block any website of your choice. And here's how we go ahead and do that. We start by adding the extension to our browser. After this has been added to our browser, we can then pin this to the toolbar. We can see that this extension has an options panel. Inside this option panel, we have the general settings to allow desktop notifications, the list of blocked iframes and the list of blocked domain names. So to start using this extension, we go to a website such as Google. We then simply right click and from the context menu, we can see the option to block this domain. Note that this extension blocks the domain, not specific URLs. So if we were to block anything on Google in a URL, it would block the whole of the Google website. Upon blocking this, we can then see the message that this is blocked. If we try to refresh the page, we can still see the website is blocked. If we go back to the extensions, we can now see we have additional options. One of these options is to add a redirect. So what we could go ahead and do here is add in bing.com. That can be with the HTTP, it can be with HTTPS, it can be with any kind of preg match um, query, or we can just write bing.com. Now when we go back to Google, if we try to refresh the page, this automatically redirects through to Bing as we see here. We can then go ahead and remove this block. Navigating back to Google. And that indeed allows the site to be viewed again. We can go ahead and view a manual option of this as well, by for example, typing in Google here. And upon doing so, it's blocked again. So we can block websites via the right click context menu select and block this domain, or we can manually add those details inside the options. We can also block iframes as well, which are pages inside other pages. So if we go ahead and view a website which uses iframes, we can see this in action. So here, for example, HTML.com, we can see that YouTube is being bought in via an iframe. So if we go ahead and type in youtube.com here and add that to the settings, when we go ahead and refresh this page, you'll see that YouTube has been blocked. So this is blocking a page within a page via the iframe format. So the extension allows you to control this via the options panel as well as via right clicking. We can then remove this, refresh the page, and YouTube loads again. So for example, after youtube.com is added, we can then go ahead and put a redirect for the iframe, such as bing.com again. Now, when we refresh the page, you'll notice that the iframe is bing.com. It's no longer YouTube. We remove this rule, refresh the page, and it's YouTube again. This extension is incredibly easy to use and incredibly lightweight. Simply clicking and blocking the domain name at the right click of a button is as simple as that for both iframes and websites.